A representative from Exion is here. Be careful, no one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. Let's get this over with. Helis and Marie are, ne are neighboring duchesses. Together, the siblings Bryn and Bannon govern most of Southern Nova. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I am sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be bygones, though. We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little providence. It was the Duchess of Hellas who tried to take over part of Exion's territory without the support of my mother, the Queen. We can be good neighbors again, without any lives being lost. Hmm. Huh. Nah, fuck it. Bluff, intimidate him. You are trespassing on our la on y our lands. You will withdraw your troops at once. Only then will we have peace. Threaten to attack. My soldiers are poised to destroy you. Withdraw now. Very well. Yeah, <laughs> phew. Alright, I feel like being less afraid now after doing all that. Alright, what do I have now? I have, uh... Oh, the Scholar's Gown. God, that looks weird. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the, uh, royal thing. There we go. Alright. So we're in week 11? Yeah, so I need more Novian history, apparently. Alright, so what do I look? Holy shit. Ari's Duchess of Lila is the mother of the Duchess of Mead, the mother-in-law of the Duke of Kigal, and the stepmother of the future Duke of Elath. People sometimes call her Nova's Eastern Queen. The Duchy of Sudbury is currently held in regency by Countess Laik of Dis for her daughter Gwynel, who is your age. She inherited the Duchy last year upon the death of her father. The last two rulers before your mother, Queen Fidelia, were, her, were your grandmother, Queen Ladesh, and her father, King Fulbert. About 60 years ago, the Duchess Merva died with no close heirs, and King Fulbert claimed the lands for the heaping of the crown. After your mother took the throne, she recreated the duchy and made her brother, your uncle, its duke. About 200 years ago, a great black cloud formed over Nova, bringing cold and sickness. The sun could not shine, and the air was gritty and foul-smelling. Many people died, including the queen at the time and most of the high nobility, before the cloud finally dissipated. Mm, that sounds like dark magic. There are reports that a keythong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a keythong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak and spines on its back. Eek. Several disappearances in southern Calaris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. God, you're a real downer, Dad. Alright. Ten services again. And now... I'm feeling flattery. I'm gonna go learn how to flatter people. The ability to tell someone what they wanna hear. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I, I come on to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen affected with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them die even faster? We're not interested. I'm stupid. <laughs> Fuck this. I've had it. I'm out. <laughs> Alright. Uh, public speaking. Ability to uh, use words well under pressure. Under pressure. Pushing down on me, pushing down on you, you practice tongue. Twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. You take deep breaths. I can't keep this going. 
You take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice to every corner of a room. I've unlocked a new outfit. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this slut dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Corsadon, the Duchess of Mead. His other full sister is the wife of Duke of Kigal, and his mother is the Duchess of Lila. Family ties are complicated. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me ma'am's heart. Lied to her they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He wasn't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice! You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... I'm gonna imprison her. You have tried to murder a noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. You have not have me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and find only a heaven golden ornament, which you hurl in her direction. Your missile flies wide off its mark. Wide of its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpets. Clean that up! Fuck this shit, I need to get out more. Can't be staying here all the time, fucking people trying to kill me. God damn. Alright, what'd I get? The tea dress? Yeah. I'm gonna stay still in the cornet for now. Alright. Uh. Oh, We're gonna do more public speaking. You memorize lists and sonnets and recite them for your teacher and any castle staff she can round up to serve as an audience. Your teacher asks you questions about made-up nonsense, pushing you to improvise answers smoothly and swiftly without having to worry about them being correct. You read collections of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in convincingly dramatic fashion. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice uh, delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. <laughs> As you are walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. Again, I'm stupid. And again, I'm gonna sneak out. Alright, uh, again, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be practicing public speaking. I think this might max it out. Yeah, it's definitely going to max it out. You learn to, about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Your teacher assigns you to create and memorize a short speech of your own. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, memorize a few good phrases for the beginning and ending of a speech, and then make up the rest on the spot. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, then requires you to answer questions about it on the spot in front of an audience. Yay, I've mastered practicing. Remember that the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. The grand ball, there will be dancing, and I'm gonna suck at it. I haven't taken dancing. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now, decide later. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Briony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. Her parents are fighting and she thinks they might split up. 
She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her. <laughs> Sorry, already went on an adventure with her. Spaghettios. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Uh, we'll have to hope not. If nothing else, I can maybe fub it with a uh, with an outfit. I wasn't supposed to take public speaking twice. Oops. I was supposed to take court manners. Proper etiquette for all situations. <laughs> Oops. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette, how to politely uh, accept or defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. You memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle. Treating servants with respect ensures good service. To directly challenge someone's honors to declare war, never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, infidelity, or murder, unless you are prepared to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of dueling. As a monarch, you are expected to embody the virtues of honesty, bravery, and generosity. You should always offer aid to those in need. However, those you aid personally are expected to give you their utmost loyalty, even unto death. Today is the procession and planting of the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. Uh, the people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Nope, gonna parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion and walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence that you can speak. My affectionate, my affectionate greetings to you all, and my thanks, for it is the people that make this domain great. We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the good lady, the promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings, and for my beginning as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. All of a sudden, there's a faint rumbling noise from under your feet. The newly planted tree in front of you quivers, and then, out of nowhere, a spurt of water comes up from the ground, splattering you and the assembled crowd with droplets. Just as quickly as it began, it vanishes. The priestesses try to calm the crowds with talk of omens and natural eruptions, but they can't halt the whispers, dark magic, that Walter tasted of salt. That night, the guards report that Juliana, the former Duchess of Ursul, has mysteriously vanished from her cell. Everyone is suspected, but no one seems to know what happened. You now have an enemy on the loose. Great. Sneak a peek at some of the uh, luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still seems feels unfair. There must be a better way. Murder them. Ha 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 ha. Anyways. Alright. Uh, god, I don't actually know what this is covered under. I don't think I've... E oh, there it is. Alright, so for our next, uh, thing, we're taking ciphering. Learning to read and write secret information. I've never taken this before. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of... Transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information in plain sight. Sweet Christ. Don't fuck with me like that. Don't make me actually have to read it backwards. You practice shifting substitution ciphers, where each letter is replaced by one... A few steps further along the alphabet, so that cake and pie becomes Fnctigal. That doesn't work reading. You practice random substitution ciphers, where the normal alphabet is replaced by one in jumbled order. This is harder to decode, but most people need a written substitution chart to read or write it. And that chart can be stole can be lost or stolen. Are you ready for the ground ball? 
All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Gulp. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kigal alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is uh, to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Good, I'm glad I failed that. I think I'll take someone older. You look around for a likely candidate, and your eye settles on Sh Shane? The Arl of Mima. He's almost ten years older than you are, and quite good-looking, so why not enjoy yourself? He smiles brightly at your approach, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Yes. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do and trip over your own feet. Oops. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. During a lull in the music, Bannon, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting uh, the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwynell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school, and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No Brioni, she has said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, but they dance at an awkward arm's length from each other. Something must be wrong there. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Indeed. Turn service. I'm just gonna have to hope I don't need... Whatever the hell I needed. All right. <sighs> All right. So let's see. I think now I should take some internal affairs. What the nobles and other citizens are up to. Otherwise known as sticking my nose in other people's fucking business. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown. And after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship of the old Merva line and originally asked for your mother, or asked your mother for a title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, created her brother, Duke of Merva. That still sounds weird. The last Duke of Mead was the older half brother of current of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life mate of the old Duke of Ursel, then broke that off only a year later. He retired into seclusion and died still unwed. Pity. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm, you don't, real you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his... Companion. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circle. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noblewomen go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? <gasps> Tip her as she passes. No, that would be, you know. Shame her with silent scorn. Fine. Alright. You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving 
presence behind you. Her color pales and she releases her grip on your father's arm, mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have defeated her. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more, and it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. No one has been able to track the former Duchess of Ursul. There could be plots underway. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Isn't that what I have agents for? Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Hmm. Uh, assassins. I Excuse me. I can deal with any problems that come up as long as I'm here to deal with them. It's assassins I'm worried about. You are your best defense against assassins. Increasing your skills will help to protect you. Beyond that, you can train more soldiers into personal bodyguards to watch over you. Or you can institute harsh penalties for treason and make people too frightened to cross you. Nah, more guards sounds good. Yeah. I need more guards. I have to be safe. As you wish. Ten services again. And finally, let's uh, do foreign intelligence. What other countries are up to? Otherwise known as sticking my nose into other people's business part two. The current Duke of Sidna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talasi. The domain of, Sha of Shangia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable rivers. The political disruption in Tombula in recent years has caused a distortion in their chocolate production, which is to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Duchess or Duchy of Kigal. Yeah, I got a new outfit. It is time, uh, it is the time of the year to decide any necessary judgments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. I don't know anything about budgets. Uh, lower taxes. Sounds good. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. I'll attend services again. Alright. And... What did I get? Uh... The, oh yeah, the cat suit. <laughs> uh... I'm sure everyone was expecting a literal cat suit, but... Sorry, not how that works. Alright, uh, so... Take foreign intelligence still. Since the recent revolution, the Tombulans have twice begun gathering troops on the, no on the Novian border. Both times their camps were struck by fierce storms and earthquakes and they decided to give up on the idea. Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus, although they are currently sticking to the northern seas and no threat to Nova. However, if they turn to slave raids, the Borleans may be quite vulnerable. Agents who have visited Borealis report that all known Lumen shamans seem to have no magical powers at all and perform their ritual displays with show and trickery. Ah. Rumor has it that the mother and older sister of the last Duchess of Eleth were assassinated 20 years ago by agents from Sidna, which is why she, as sole remaining heir, was married off so young. Rumor has it that the Prince of Terax was humiliated by the public desolation of his, uh betrothal to an heiress after she declared him a coward. 